What do you want, oh, specs on the saw camera? I L C E I, seven. I'm just I've wondering. I've never heard of that as a custom imager. I L C E Charlie Echo hyphen. No, I'm not. Seven, I'm not, I'm like not concerned three? with the camera. Yeah. I'm just wondering. No. Dirk's freaking out about the camera, everybody. <laughs> I've just seen <laughs> this camera over there taking like amazing video um, of this hold whatever, on. and then this one. That it's good. It's not bad. It's just, I'm just wondering. The digital still that looks like there. it might be a uh, uh, Sony A7 III. This Fabio? is just the specs for what's on her. Sony A7 III. Fabio, you hear that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I look it up. I, I don't hey, Marley? think this is a new one. Hey, if you look at the GUI, up here it's got India Lima Charlie Echo. Oh, uh, yes. Dash 7 Mic 3. And when you, when you uh, do extensive research at the school library, you find that that's a Sony A7 III. <laughs> cool, thanks. <laughs> yeah, sure. No, don't want to use any proprietary terms. You can also just go to the Nautilus Live website and yeah. look at all of our... Tom kind of guessed that. At a glance information. So he's, he, so uh, he said Sony A7S or R. So you do have a Sony AS. A7, sorry, A. Yep, I'm just not sure which A7. model. A7. But it, it does say uh, 7 mic 3. It does not have the mic 3 hyphen Bravo after it. I'm looking for your focal length. All right, while the nerds are doing nerd stuff, um, we yeah, have a comment that says, hummocky can be used to describe underwater as well, oh. at least for fossilized bed forms. Send that person yeah. a gift card. Thank you, viewer, whoever you are. These aren't fossilized bed forms, so <laughs> Ed, Ed does well, see, minus one point, Ed. <laughs> what I like is they're not pointing out that I was right, they're pointing out that Rennie was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we have a geologist here. Yeah, hummocky. <laughs> Well, like actually, it's similar. Yeah. Randy, you could fall back on my Philly accent and call it hammocky, I think. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was trying to do you a solid, by correcting that part at least. <laughs> That's low hanging fruit, man. You should have grabbed that. <laughs> yeah, it must have a prime lens on it, is my guess. In your brow cam, what is that kind of distorty, bubbly looking thing? That's an air bubble. It's a, yeah, air, a bubble. Air bubble? Bubbly looking thing. Or is it a water bubble inside? I think it's a water bubble. Could be con yeah. Con but I don't know. Probably not, no. Or all right, so now we're getting questions about all the different specs we have on oh, no, <laughs> all of this, our stuff. This is going to involve me, isn't uh, it? No, it's just okay. uh, I would highly recommend people go to the Nautilus Live website, click on our technology, and scroll down to... Uh, ROV Hercules, it's under science and tech. And uh, instead of me reading out all of the different numbers listed here, just check them out. So I haven't reset your DVL in case they care about that, but I could just do that. It'll be a kind of a large jump, but you should be driving off the USBL. Yeah, I'm kind of just looking at the yeah, I figured. camera too. Yeah, not driving off of it. If you do reference, just know that it's in the wrong spot. Back in clam territory. I've got a question for biologists here. So gray whales, they eat clams, right? Gray whales, what? Gray gray whales, they're like mud feeders, where they go into shallow bays and dig up yeah. clams. Do Not they so also pods. eat here? Uh, I don't Th think so. I mean, like I know no, the no, humpbacks like it here, but do the gray whales no, feed I here? Don't think, no, they feed up in the Arctic, or yeah, they go into shallow bays and strain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They go amphipods out of, yeah, of the okay. mud, but they're not looking for nah. clams. All right. You say that you think those tracks are made from by whales? 
no, those are <laughs> probably not whales. But these holes might be made by whales scooping uh, mud. You no, know, you like know. so the beaked whales le leave these very particular imprints, but not not those the holes. Those are gastropod tracks, right? Yes. Those but is is a gray whale considered a beaked whale? Uh, no. Uh, it has the baleen for sure. What do you? Yeah. I'm not a whale biologist. I'm not a marine mammal biologist. But anyways, so but they, they, they make, make, they make very particular imprints, not holes like that. They, oh, they okay. kind of, yeah. They're kind of like stamps, more like. That's interesting. Yeah, just maybe it's, you know, unexplored resource for the gray whale. It could be eaten here. Yeah. I don't think they dive that deep. Right? Yes, we're at uh, twelve fifty meters. All right. We I have don't know how deep the Dick Ray Whale goes. That's a good question. We have a camera yeah. at one of the sites we'll be visiting this this year, and it's six hundred and six, just six hundred meters. The fish acoustics. Yeah, we are being we seeing elephant seals there. Regularly. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, that's promising. Oh. Cable. Cable. All right, so we are approaching from the north east. We yes, we are. This cable is likely the Kaikwa Bullseye site. We need to follow that to the raft. Ah, never mind, let's just keep going to the IP. Yeah, I'll stop the ship uh, shortly once we're kind of over there, and then we'll just wait for us to swing in. Yeah, all right, that makes sense. And uh, if you can get, oh, look at that thing. What's that? Whoa. Is that a mola mola? No. No, that is a that blob is, scope and I think. Blob, uh, it's so uh, fat. Call it, how do you call it? Blob scoping. I blob have scoping. A, yeah. Uh, I've never seen one that white though. Yeah. They're uh, distinctive, well, for many reasons, but the little uh, prongs they have sticking out. Which I believe is a, is a defensive mechanism against octopus, like the giant Pacific octopus. A quasi apex predator here. So when we get to the site, what are we doing? What's the first step? Going back. The first thing that we're going to do is find a junction box and do a visual survey of that. Okay. So just moving around it, making sure everything's still in order, nothing new. And then we will move on to replacing the CTD. And that's the instrument that's on your porch. Okay. Oh, what the heck is that now? Um, Ulriki, have we confirmed, have we gotten confirmation that port J1 is turned off? Port A1 is turned off, yes. Pardon? Port uh, J1 is port turned off. That uh, system confirmed this like a few hours ago. They did confirm? Yes. Okay, thank you. Do we have time for a few more questions before we go back into operations mode, or are we about there? Uh, once we reach the platform, is kind of at the end of it, or once this ship has settled down, but I think there's some questions, yeah. Yeah, we have a few minutes. Time, yeah. Okay. We get this question a lot. I'm not sure if people have answered it yet during this expedition. Um, do we want to do a quick around the room of your favorite sea creature? I think Ed will start us off with my favorite sea creature. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be nice. <laughs> I like the setup, though. I'll go with La Melibrachia. Uh, it's going to be the best yeah, one. We got bubbles. Yeah, we just at, gone uh, past bubbles. Yeah. The whale. yeah. Bubbles here. Bubbles. Yeah. Bubbles. Bubbles. Yeah, bubbles. just went past bubbles. Coming from, from these. Sea creature, uh, that's a hard one. I guess we could refine it to favorite deep sea. Oh, I was going to say sea otter. Okay. Yeah. That's way off. I would say the sea deep turtle. Sea otter. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sea lions at, uh, at 600 meters? Deep sea? Uh, <laughs> on a four. Clam beds here. Seals. There's got to be. Yet. There's got to be flow here with these clam beds. What, and so, Fabio, what's all this? Dark, is that bacterial mat we're seeing? All the black? Um, could be. Oh, oh yeah, for and sure. They, these are like live clams. Yeah, those yeah. are live clams. Yeah. yeah. And the black so streaks definitely, are... Yeah, some 
filamentous bacteria, maybe? Some bacteria, yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely yeah. saw some bubbles back there, a couple burping out. I think these out. are active. We saw a cemetery of shells early on. I bet there's yeah, this is very nutrient-rich mud that we're looking at, right? Yeah. We're gonna see some bubbling. Uh, I like the giant on, Pacific right? octopus. That's a really cool organism. Uh, going with a classic, eh, Ed? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Reached way back to find that one. Did you uh, Did you see it attack the ROV yeah. cable bundle earlier? Yeah, I did see that. <laughs> that happen. was very funny. I have noticed uh, over the many years I've done ONC stuff that the uh, Giant Pacific Octopus seems to really like the grating on the bottom of the instrument platforms, and I've seen uh, female GPOs brooding on their eggs that they've attached to the bottom of the IPs. Interesting. Yeah, we find them in Venus. They live in the platforms. Yeah. And we yeah. accuse them of knocking over our instruments quite often. They're very curious, uh, but they learn a lot about what they're touching by bringing it to the beak on the inside of the mantle. Um, how about the accelerometer? Is that also um, close to, doesn't have a lot of height to it? The accelerometer, let's see. I thought that was your favorite sea animal. Yeah. Titan, EA? Uh, it just says bullseye accelerometer. No, that will be all on the bottom. Everything here yep. is Ooh. low what except for a CTD. Heck? Oh, what is that? What is that? Some yeah, kind of like a trawl. Yeah, trawl. it looks like a trawl. Yeah. At 1,200 meters? Yeah. There, we're almost at the limit. Oh. There's somebody looking for the VPS. <laughs> we published an article, actually, a few years that ago. That is interesting. Using oh. Bubbles. Bubbles, yeah. Using the footage from the, the cable surveys, video surveys. And we found tracks marks up to twelve hundred meters. That is, that's crazy. That's a, that's incredible how deep those go. Besides that, or gray whale. Okay, the ship will be coming to a stop soon. Um, we'll hone in where we want to place it, um, but we'll wait for Atlanta to swing. That'll take a bit of time. What is our, what is Herc's current distance to the IP? That is 75 meters. 75 meters. Oh, you can see on the sonar the track's coming up too. On the fancy sonar. Oh yeah. The yellow sonar. There you go. Oh yeah. yeah. Definitely. Oh, yeah, no. those are definitely trawl. They wouldn't be anything else, I don't think. Wow. Yeah. So the two doors probably that we just crossed or something. All right, the ship yeah, is maybe. coming to a stop. That makes sense. Uh, you might be approaching an ADCP at some point. I'm gonna go ahead and do a DVL reset on the fly. Yeah, yeah adjust your iris. I, I have to say, I don't know what green cable we crossed way See back there. Right? Yeah. If we're approaching from the northeast. Yeah, it seemed quite farther away than this cable that's on the map here, which we didn't see, so the I don't know. The Imagenics cable? Uh, yeah, know. no, that's surprisingly far. Yeah. Is there a cable out here I did that not doesn't mark exist? It, unfortunately. Oh, that one's black, right? We'll see what we have coming up. Just, uh, yes. Oh, 10 meters out. Okay. Oh, yeah. There we go. There's there an orange, is. and that is the... It looks like a tilt meter or RBR. Um, looks like a BPR. BPR, that's way not where I have it on here. So we're going to have to get oriented uh, here. Oh, that could also be the media. Is there a beat bag? Where are we? Oh, is that a uh, converter? Or? That could be what we're seeing in the top, yeah, most north northeast of the frame. Yeah. Media converter is likely, is more likely, and the cable Looks heading like north or dead ahead that goes want, to the IP. Do you want me to drop a target here for the media converter? Yeah, if it helps, if it helps for the navigation, if it's not lining up. It may. We'll find out. So the cable, that cable you're looking at right now, that yeah. will lead us to the platform. Okay. Following the cable.
We're kind of limited with our Atalanta. Um, yeah, we're still swinging. Swing, but so we may go past things that we want. But another cable coming in from the left. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So what do we have here? So on that the side, should be an ADCP. That's the ADCP. So yeah. I'll mark that once we get to it. And then should be a IP There's fairly a coil. close. Yeah, it's right out of. So I have that as a bit. A bit off from the coordinates. What's slightly to the right of this? There was a yeah, hole in the ground there or something. Uh, what was that? Depression. Just what is depression. this thing called? ADCP. ADCP. Acoustic yeah. Doppler Current Profiler. Cool. Do you want to get over it and I'll just go yep. drop a, our, best, our best known position for it? Huh. Look at the eye connector is stuck in the mud. Yeah, it looks like it, maybe it's on a, um, it's on a... Yeah, fur, uh, farm, fur, something. Do you, oh, is that Fathom, the Fletcher? Fur them? Fletcher. Fletcher. Yeah. Alright, gonna continue with the swing. Bullseye. Probably just ADC blinded that fish. <laughs> it's six. on its side now. All right, we're going to be a bit offset then, looks like. But so that actually might be fine where we ended up with the, where, where we will end up with Atalanta, maybe okay. Nailed it. Not on purpose. <laughs> Just, I, could, I could pretend that. Everything, all these wires or cables seem to be going to a central location, yeah. so... Fabio, and we, the we're just checking it up now in the uh, Sea King. 20 what meters out? Is this, are they at this the site? Or at hydrates only? I, th I thought last time we did it's some pretty IP surveys like here, or slope surveys in here. shape? No, no. This is just this survey from into the whale. Okay. Like what? No, the coral oh, cliffs yeah, are really uh -huh. different. We didn't do any coral service here okay so there's not a there's not a drop off near here that we went and mm, for some reason i remember us doing this years that i i know of but maybe. okay could have been hydrates because we did clean some sonar bells as part of the same dive but it was yeah coral cliffs is just around the corner hydrates yeah okay and i think that's what you're yeah okay so they're not here as well no huh yeah, there have been lots of corals. They're normally associated with uh, canyons and topographic features that we don't have many here. Okay, so here, uh, looks like I said, oh, we go. here looking at an instrument platform. Yeah. So I have quite a different orientation of where that ADCP was to the, in relation to the bullseye, in case you want to note that. Okay, let me get that on my nav screen here, okay. on my screen here. Yeah. Is that ROV nav that you're... Uh, the one that I have is HYPEC survey, H-Y-P-S-U-R-V. HYPEC survey. Um, okay, yeah, I've got it here, yeah. Yeah, okay. so the prior ADC P mark was up here, but I have it down here, and it looks like the IP is pretty close, but just a little bit south of uh, where it is. We'll get a good position on it once it goes over it, if that's your intent to get a good position. Yeah, I'm looking at that cable. It looks incredibly tight. Yeah, it does, want, doesn't it? Um, I don't know. That? Let's see if they want. Um, do you want a position on this IP? Yes. In, so in we can get a position and orientation. <laughs> yeah. Is there a particular direction you want? Um, yeah, just to be consistent with our previous one, I will give you. If you can face from the from the north or the south, either okay. one, and get us a direction like that. Uh, this year, we could probably just add 90 to what we're seeing here. And then we'll get on top of it and get a, just yeah, get like right. over it-ish. That is incredibly tight, whatever that cable is, I don't know. Yeah, the I strain relief... the BPR, but... Is strain relieving it, except for around that post, it looks a little tight, doesn't it? Yeah, good call for setting that up, whoever did that. How are you with Atalanta? It's settling in. Um, I think you got the, yeah, you should have the tether and everything, right? We're kind of directly over it. It's yeah, we got a 27 meter delta. Roger, so you got some room to play around here for now. OK, 
Okay, let me just get over it a bit. We'll get yep. a good position. Oh, is that, uh, uh, what's his name? Adrian? Oh, we'll scoot around there eventually and check it out. I think so. I think get you're a right. shot. Yeah, we gotta yeah. get a shot if it is. See if Adrian's been right, biofilled. I do a d DVL reset. All right. <laughs> Let me get set up here. Okay, uh, I'll drop a target, and this is bullseye. I'm doing the, the other way around. You're getting it's red. I like the red. 2023. Should we recover, Adrian? <laughs> no, you should stay. Should stay. He can stay and there. We yeah. have one, two, five, eight. He retired. Though. Five, nine. Yeah. <laughs> well, that that's a tribute to him. Right? That's yes. a tribute. Yeah. yeah. Dirk, okay. do you know how long this has been down here? This this platform. Platform. Mm. 2009. 2009. This platform or this? Th we probably swapped platforms since 2009. Well, the nodes. Okay, I have a position here. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm um, not sure. And what's well, we our can heading? find that out. Heading. The um, Neptune Observatory Jason was installed in 2009. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's I don't know if this yeah. this particular platform. Yeah. We, we added many and different addiction uh, additions. Yeah, there so was a update to all of them at some point, so they've all okay. changed to different version. Yeah. So I don't know when when that swap was, but we do have it recorded somewhere. Cool. Oh. Okay, I've I got the position and the years. heading. Do you guys have that back yeah. there? Yeah, what's that heading? 015. So most of the sites, we have 14 years of data. That's awesome. 015? That 015, eh? In that yeah. direction facing. Okay, so that's not quite consistent what we had before. Any of the... Oh, yeah, no, no, that's fine. That's okay. fine, yeah. yeah. Okay, that matches up. It's one that's of the great. 90s, yeah. One of the, yeah. Nice. Okay, and I've got that. Uh, it's roughly due south of the prior coordinate, the 2018 coordinate, by about 12 meters. And then the ADCP is almost due east of it. Okay, that looks great. If we can do a... So we're just offset of it. Uh, kind of a pirouette around the platform. Yes. Okay, is there a direction or a side that you want to see? No, whatever works okay. for you. All the sides. All the sides. Do you want us to come down? If you can come down and yep. maybe zoom out on the camera. There's not much to zoom out. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I'm just going to push through the housing so here. Watch that you're clear of everything, looks like it. Okay, so and then the only thing that will be, the CTD will be near it, so just kind of as we spin, sure. As we spin, just make sure we're watching butt cams to make sure we're not plowing over a monument or something. Yeah, there would be a CTD 14 meters uh, northwest of the platform. Roger. Roger. So UAB-19. Have you, have you seen the larval tube traps somewhere? Interior, they should be here. Larval right tube here. traps are? South. But it doesn't south. I don't see them on the diagram. So that strain relieved oily that's bent, that's going inside the IP. Yeah, that's, um, it probably means that it's not, uh, it's hardwired and not um, yeah. on, a, on a removable connector. Right. Yeah, that's, that's it. It says just south of JB19. Yeah, it's for some reason it's not here on our um, drawing. So the, we'll keep circling around. Um, but the connector on the left side, that's where we eventually want to position. Okay. Oh, Adrian's riding a bike. Oh, no, that's not Adrian. Who's that? I thought Adrian was at en Endeavor, but... Yeah, he is, yeah. This is... Uh, this is Dirk. <laughs> Dirk riding his bike to oh, work. Oh, I remember this. Uh, oh, who was this? <laughs> I feel like the old guy at the senior's home now. Oh. I think, doesn't it say it on the base? I can't remember. Uh, how are you feeling with Atalanta? You're all good? You want me to move move closer? Or you're okay? As long um, as you're not getting tugged by it, then we should be all right. Uh, it, it seems okay. 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 I, I think that's, yeah. 
just to follow up to the previous question, this instrument platform was deployed in August 2018. No, in July 2018. July 2018 was the deployment date for the instrument platform. Well, but it was a redeployment. Yeah, it's a redeployment. We probably swapped it from a J1 to a J2 or a JB1 to a JB2 version or something. All right, that's a full pirouette. All right, so if we can go and position ourselves in front of that other side opposite to this. Okay. Go back the way I came. We'll start checking off things on the dive plan. I might bump Adeline into a little closer because we're going that way towards the CTD anyway. Yep. So I'll just go, as long as you guys' pilots are okay, I'll go 15, yep. one five meters, 305. Bridge nav. Step one five meters, bearing 305. <coughs> Uh, sp speed doesn't matter just for this. It's okay. Uh, 15 meters, 305. Thank you. Okay. If I could do a quick snap soon there, see if we can ID that thing. One's got the little grab bar on the other side. Yeah, is there a grab bar? It's like the, it's on the right side. Right <laughs> side? Yeah. <laughs> figure something out. That D -ring. Yeah, yeah, we'll figure something out. Alright. And which one was the one we're after? Was it J1? Far left. Far left. Yeah, yeah. Should we get Mongo in position? To yep, let's get Mongo out. So I was thinking I'll grab that D ring right there. Yeah. So, yeah, I, first step that we want to do here is take the 12 way parking position and put it in the in the Fletcher. Okay. That is in the bio box, correct? I think. Or the, the forward forward toolbox? Yeah. I want to pull that out. So okay. Okay. okay, pulling the toolbox out. Alright. Camera rack back. Camera's racked back, yep. I'll pull out the craft. I hate this part. How am I going to grab it? There's a jar on top Yeah, there's a of jar it. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stand the jar up. <laughs> I don't know. Watch out if you build up pressure moving in. If it releases, you might poke me in the eye. Yeah. Yeah. Careful of that. I'm gonna get a bubble on it. Yeah, that feels close. Oh, I like that. You got it in bubble if you need a second view there. Nice. 
Nice. Stand that up. So, are you, are you going for the dust cap? Sorry, what are you uh, after here? Oh, a, a parking position. What, uh, well, that's the 12-way. The things that are normally on the Fletcher. Okay, so the other that, ends of that. Yeah, is that in the bi in this box? It's, um, stand by, Daniel. I thought it was. Just, just stand by. It, I believe it was supposed to be in there. Um, is it? I think it's attached to the uh, CTD. Oh, it is. Yeah, but there's one on the CTD. Just give me one second. There should be another one on there. We um, can look on the porch. If we're it should be a 12-way park position, but if it's in the CTD, we can work with that as well. Let's see if we got anything on the porch. If you look with bubble. I can pull this out and maybe shut the... So we might have to flip no. the um, that down first, that beaker. Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't look like it's in there. No, it's not no, in there. Not in there. Unless not it's okay. behind this. You're a bit close in there. Yeah, careful with it. Yeah, if you're... Uh, oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Hey, close. Ah, you're close to that Zeus. Yeah. Um, Try to get that. Hold on a second. Okay, okay. You've got the no, uh, manips pointed away from the ROV. Can you have them pointed in? Move yeah, the. Just a second. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Come. Yeah. Have that be the closest part to the camera. Thanks. Just careful with that uh, bubble catcher. It's still usable, but it did okay, break. Bring the one. All right. No, it just broke with the ROV hand, or with the manipulator. So the parking position is attached. Don't blink, you might miss something. <laughs> Don't blink, you might miss something. Yeah. There it is. Okay, so I think what we can do, there's, there's the one in the Fletcher right now, or the one on top of the CTG. Right. And that's the only one. All right, so can we go down and sur survey that cable to the CTD? Okay. Unless Never there was one put in the starboard bio, uh, what you guys aren't don't know anything about? No. There was? Okay. No. Just checking. So this is fine. We can survey that cable, and I want to see which cables go over top of what. So the idea here is to clear out, our goal is to clear out the cable and CTD so it doesn't interfere with the connection of the next one. Okay, Okay. so we're following that far left. Far left green. Oh, green. Far left connector, yeah. yep. and it goes off to the so right. It looks like top, top. In that time that we were doing that, Atalanta moved uh, much closer to the IP. So as long as you're happy with your delta there. And okay, so it goes over top. We're pretty much directly, yeah, it's or top of to both directly of those. over it. And then it looks top again. That's over. Okay, yeah, so if it goes top again, that's good. We tilt up, tilt up a little bit. Yeah. There we go. There's that monument. Yeah, that's mm. top. Yeah, that's yeah. over top. That's nice. Good. All right. I'm gonna go over and inspect it fully. Um, okay, no, before we go do that, yes, I yeah. think the plan, so what we wanna do is we wanna eliminate the operation. So we wanna bring that CTD over and ditch it towards the left of the platform. This, like in, I guess in our case, the, mm -hmm. um, let me just look at this diagram, but to the, I think we wanna go towards the east, clear it completely out of the way so when we deploy the, next CTD on the monument, we can bring it back and do deal with the connectors then, and we can use the parking position that's in the current CTD on the porch and protect the connector like that. So now I just want to go find a place to put this CTD and cable after we've taken it off the monument. So you wanted to go look for the place before we grab it? Yeah. Okay. Because we're going to want to probably fly it up and over all the stuff on your... Roger. Okay. This is the west side of the west-ish side of the IP, yep. and you want to go look for a place somewhere on the east side, is that right? Yeah, anywhere kind of towards the northeast, Okay. towards the left of that connector panel, anywhere there, so if there's a safe spot. 
It looks like to the left of that um, instrument that's laying down there. Is that okay? Yeah, but if we want to place it, we want to stretch its cable out so it's not bundled underneath where the RV is going to land. So Roger, probably yeah. we're looking for about 20 meters clear. So in that direction looks good, like just to your left now in that okay. kind of open area. Yeah, this way. Can kind of turn, we'll watch butt. Well clear of everything in butt. Okay, so. And Nav, how accurate can we mark kind of a position here? A uh, landing site? Yeah, pretty good. Um, and you want 20 meters from yeah, the Yeah, 20 IP? meters from that corner. From the corner, I mean, 20 yeah. 20 meters due east? Uh, kind of wherever there's a clear spot, so not due east. Because okay. you see there's these cables here, so it's yeah. to the left of you. There you go, out here would probably be good, right? Um, right now you're about 10 meters, okay. so continue. Looks pretty good out there, eh? Yeah, nice I think and clear. So. Pardon? Okay, I think that's safe, but let's go mark that spot. Sure, this okay. is about one five meters. Is that okay? Yeah, let's mark it right there. That's good enough. Okay, Roger. So this is where we're going to place that CTD once it's off the... Okay. Right, so we're just going to make a note. No parking position. Okay. Have that marked? Mark to that, yep. And I, yeah, I'm not going to mark it in this one because it's not really permanent, so... Okay, so then back to the IP? Back to I the IP, and mm -hmm. or back to the CTD. Back to the CTD, yeah. Roger. So the first thing we want to do when we get to the CTD is we want to survey, have a quick visual capture of the tubing that goes into the pump. Roger. Okay. Um, one of our scientists believes there could be a reason for the connectivity cell failing prematurely at this site specifically, and he wants to do some analysis on the tubing. So follow this first cable again. That's it, yeah. Are we going to try and peek inside there and see if we see uh, methane ice in there? Is that the idea? We're going to try and see if there's anything to observe in the tubing before it comes to the surface. Right. Yeah, because once it's at the surface, we It'll lose information, right? on the way up. Yeah. He's going to do that, and then he's going to, I think he's going to look at the microbes. He wants us to freeze the tubing at the surface, to freeze it in the minus 80. Yep. To see if there's anything in there, anything funny going on. I assume this is all because you've recovered failed ones before, and they check OK on the bench. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know if they check OK on the bench. They fail here. I, oh, okay. I can't speak to what they do. I on the I'm surface, not sure. yeah. Oh, that looks like an easy grab. So where is the inspection point that you so, want us to look at? Yeah, um, if we get a little closer, it's going to be right at the top. There's some PVC pipe that comes off in a 90, I think. Okay. And it'll be inside there. That's the one I'm thinking of. I'm marking a position me, here. Um, so I'll leave it on the screen. This is the. This is where the pump spits out water right there. If you can see this port. Okay. And then there's a piece of tubing, and I don't know if we'll see anything in between the there and then see the there as well. And it sucks the water in from here. So we'll just do a quick l close up of all of those spots. Okay. You want to get a zoom? There. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Coming in. This looks like something out of a science fiction movie. Holding partial. Mm -hmm. I want to bring the bubbles looking down. Just so yeah. So it doesn't look to be super transparent. And then there's a tubing just up from there. Yep. 
That one doesn't look like we're going to see much. No. The tube better than the lasers right now? Right, that one? Pardon? The, the tube, the in... The yeah, that right exact there? tube. Yeah. yeah, you got it. Right. That little guy. Okay, I think that's good. I don't know if there's be more that we can learn from this. Right. He can look at that footage and see if there's anything. The place to grab this is on the back side, on the PVC tube on the far side. Okay, can you come wide then? Coming out. Thank you. Oh, Bennett's saying something. Come wide, a little bump back in. Okay, so you want to take this off the monument, is that correct? It needs to come off the monument and we have to fly it clear on the far side and bring it back to the IP we want to bring it to that landing zone while staying um, on the north side of the IP at all times we don't want to cross it over top of the IP and get it tangled so Roger so we're taking this one we're landing it in that spot we just scoped out yeah okay got it okay, okay let me know when I'm uh, free I'm coming full wide for you okay. well you're all crinkled up. Yeah. Which part are we grabbing? The monkey fist or the uh, so PVC on the back? Monkey fist is that's actually a good point. Normally you, the monkey's fist is fine because it just needs to be pulled up and out of that tube. So either the gray PVC or the monkey's fist either would work. Is the monkey fist the safer option? Uh, you're not going to knock anything over? Yeah. Kay. And then the next CTD we're going to eventually land on this tube so that's going to be a challenge. Roger. Okay. Okay. You want to fly it off? Okay. I just, can fly uh, it give, yep, just give it a nice boost. Uh, give me a, yeah, hop. Mm -hmm. There we go. Excellent work. Well done, Joe. Okay, so we're taking this and we're going to stay, kind of just follow it, and you want to stay north of the IP. Okay. So keep that IP on your right as we go. Watch the monument as we drive away from it so we don't knock that over. And I'll head us towards our intended landing zone. I'm just going to switch this real quick. All right, Jake, there's the IP, there's you. You're going from here to here, and you want to stay north of that IP the whole time. You okay right. with this altitude? So we'll just, up a bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, That's probably good. There shouldn't be anything that we're dragging, and this cable goes over the other one. We're still north of it. Okay, adjust your heading to starboard a little bit. So when we get to this spot, just mm -hmm. before we um, put it down, just just hang out there for a second. There's one thing I want to check on it. Roger, will do. Roger. Where's the target here? This one right uh, here. Right. Yeah. Yep. About nine meters away. Just now got to have fun. <laughs> Just now getting to have fun. So 
few meters and we'll be meters. good. We're just watching that we're not tugging on that thing, but they should have plenty. Yeah. There you go. That's good. All right. All right. So just hold here and we want to, what do we want to inspect there, Dirk? So if we, um, okay. we might want to turn because what we want to see is the bottom, I'll show you on this drawing, see this, this shroud over the back end of this guy? Do you think we can lift it up so that we can have a view of the bottom of the CTD? If not, we can just place it down. Okay. Turn, turn back towards the platform. So like this. yeah, just stand there. Okay. What we want to see is the bottom of the CTD. Is that correct? Yeah. There's a um, inlet port within the backside. There's a shroud, and there's an inlet port there, on the other side of that. Okay. And if we can lift it up, maybe we can have a view from the camera. Okay. Sure. Roger. We're just doing a quick uh, shift change doing a here. Switch on the arm operator. So stand by. Yeah, we'll have to relay that info to Dan. Yeah. All right, Dan, um, so we'd like to look at the bottom of this CTD, and Dirk can explain where a little bit better, so I'm going to need to hold it up and see if we can look at it with our camera, the bottom part of it. The bottom part of it. Is this the old one on here? This is the old one. We haven't here taken the new one off the porch yet? Roger. Nope. Right. So this one failed, and uh, we just want to see underneath here by the connectors, on the other back side of the CTD is the inlet port to the um, conductivity cell. And if we can lift it high enough to have a visual of that port, that's perfect. Otherwise, we'll place it down and look at that at the end of the dive. Yeah. You rocked back, Jake. Fire? Yep, I'm rocked back. This is a good trick. So right. Dan's done this before. He's inspected connectivity cells It's on before. the left there. Turn yeah, it's going to be right in there is what I, we're looking at. I can get in there once we get a shot of it. Turn Do we have a porch light? Yeah, and turn your pen and tilt light on. Is that what it's called now? It's on the pen and tilt. I think so. I'm not sure. There you go. There we go. Oh, that is interesting. Would you like a zoom? Yeah, zoom uh, would be incredible. Whenever Dan's ready. We're not going to get inside that gray PVC tube on the left, right? We're, We're looking at no. this piece right there. OK, gotcha. Right I'm there. ready to come in when you guys are. Yeah, zoom in. That looks like silt. So Bennett and Steve <laughs> holding. I could use a point. Have a look. So there looks to be a plug in there. Okay, that's that's excellent. Can Thank you. One. Coming out. And then we can place it on the ground. Okay, we've drifted a bit from our point. Does it uh, matter as long as we're clear of all cables? I think we're okay. Okay, roger. Because the point was just to clear the cable out. Yeah, roger, roger. And I'll place the target here, even though we have a cable to follow. Yes, that's it. And this is... CTD. You're right, Dick. Yeah. Doing good. Okay, I'm going to switch you back to RobNav over here. Um, Turn your pen into a light up and. Uh, that was interesting. Okay. okay. Plug CTD. Next step there. Next step is we're going to follow this cable mm -hmm. and then position ourselves for working on the connector that it's connected to at the instrument platform. Okay. So then, um, 
the CTD monument is just to the starboard side of our view, kind of where that green cable is going, 15 meters about there in that direction. And that's where we're going to deploy the next CTD. Around it. We are unplugging this one, are we? Uh, not yet. So you can see it kind of over there in the corner. We're not, we don't have to go there now, but oh. that's our target deployment. Okay. So first we have to do the connector. Oh, all right. First, first the connector. Okay, so the one thing here. Wait a minute. I thought, <coughs> that, uh, I thought we were going to do the instrument first. Either way. Derek, what's first, connector or instrument? Okay, so we want to do the connector first so that we can fly the instrument over because we want this connector to go into the parking position that's currently in the CTD that's already on the porch. So what we want to do, if we land in front of this, we can, or just hover here, just figure out the steps related to that because we don't have an extra parking position on the, on the sub, <coughs> so we have to use the one that's in the CTD. So I'm open to suggestions on what's the most efficient way to do this. Well, it's rigged on the <coughs> on the vehicle to um, park the instrument off first, because that's what we agreed on before we dove. To do the instrument first, right? Well, to deploy the instrument first, yeah. and then drag the cable back. So, but uh, that plan depended on us first making this disconnection before that, Dis getting rid of the old CTD first, right? So. That might still be the way to go. We're going to plug the new CTD in where that one's plugged in? Yeah. Why don't we unplug that one and... So if we unplug... If we unplug it, can we... Okay, how about this? If we, we disconnect that one, we place that connector on the porch. And Wait then a minute. Are you recovering this one that doesn't work? Yes. So... I guess it doesn't matter too much if the connector potentially gets a little bit of dust in there or grime, but just it's a little bit of the fox and chicken game here. Well, we could unplug that one and just drape it over the... Oh. Yeah, I think, okay, so how about if we do... But if we do that, then the other cable will go over it, so... Yeah, yeah. Um, we could unplug that one and fly it around to the left side, drape it over the instrument platform. Because the new one is off to our right, there's a stand out there. Yep. Uh -huh. And then proceed as planned, and then just come and get the connector and plug it into the 12-way that's in the Fletcher at that point, after the new one's been plugged in. Yeah. Oh yeah, so let's do that. Okay, Jake, see that ring sticking out there? The D-ring? Yeah, sure. Yep. Can you hit that one? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's been deployed very long based on how clean its connector is. The thing goes out of view. Every time you move it, it jacks me up. Because uh, I don't know if the manip's moving or the camera's moving. I don't need it like centered up all the time. Mine come in a bit, Dan. 
What's that? I can come in a bit if you want. Uh, I can't actually get there from here. That's the right one, right? Yeah, that was one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna let go and we'll fly to the left and drag this cable out of the way. So look up and to your right a little bit, or look to your right a little bit. See, I'm gonna watch that cable. Is we'll just I'll let go and you just fly around to the left side of the platform there. Yep. Ready? Ready? Yep. Ready. Cable out of the way, so when we bring the new one out from out yonder, we don't have to deal with this cable. If you um, <coughs> come up and land on the bullhorn at the top of the uh, platform there, I'll, let's drag it back a little further. Come out a little bit more. Hmm? Mm, that's probably good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll just fly up. Yeah, even if looking at the platform the there. <laughs> <laughs> it's this, yeah, it's, it's this in here. That one's done, but this is the one that's going. Yeah, that's the one that goes to the yeah, um, right BPR. There with your porch. Nice and easy. Nice stable. Yep. Find yourself a something, something to put this thing on. You can lift your camera up just a bit. But <coughs> okay. Straight that way. Go back to the monument? Or? I'm going to move your camera a little. There it is. So if we hang this thing on here and then fly away, it's going to uh, tip that thing over, isn't it? It might. It might. But it it's will. okay. It should be 25 meters of cable, and it's 15 meters from the platform. Should be some slack in the bundle. But alternatively, if we are worried about it, we could do it the opposite way. It's kind of, it ends up being the same thing. It's just how it's rigged on the platform right now. Well, if we do it the other way, then we pull on the connector, right? Yeah. Hmm. So if it's if it's set up to do it this way, if it, that's how it's arranged yeah. on the porch. We could, we should okay. just do it this Back way. Back off a bit, Jake. Yep. Keep keep your uh, you know where the platform is with respect to your heading, where you came from, right? Yeah, it's behind me. Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I want you back up this little, and then I'm not gonna play around with the toys here. In a happy place where you can watch the pole there. This this operation is notoriously one of the hardest things to do. It's kind of an afterthought thought since we deployed all these monuments and then realized how challenging this this is with for the ROVs. 
Can we... Um, um, also, to make it even more complicated, can I point out that this CTD is modified with a 90-degree elbow piece, <laughs> so we want to handle it with care to prevent entanglement and damage, and in addition, we would like to point it away from the seafloor, that and that's all I'd like to wish for at the moment. Can we set the uh, <laughs> the CTD down in the, in the, uh, on the seabed there? I don't think so. Well, is it okay to put it on the bottom? Either we set it on the seabed, or when we're flying away, we pull it over on the monument. The What's monument your, tips sorry, over. was that a question to me? Or yeah. yeah. Talking, okay, what was the question? I'd like to take the instrument off and set it down there at the bottom of the monument, and then deploy the cable, plug it in, then come back and hang the CTD. Um, so the problem is we have a very high rate of when they touch the bottom of them getting plugged when we turn them on. So it's a, it's quite risky, but if we can we look down at the CTD and see if there's a side that's preferable for this, because if the mud once the mud gets in there, it's very challenging. Is it possible to move the monument to the IP? Uh, I don't think no. We no. can't lift it. So it's not just legs or stuff under the No, side. there's a couple of 45-pound yeah, plates underneath. Oh, right. Yeah, I think I see the hook for one of them. So we have done this in the past where we do the CTD first, and we'll just have to monitor the cable tension. Okay. Yeah, there is a risk there. Roger. How big around is that pipe? I can't tell if that pipe, yeah. <coughs> that pipe doesn't lift out, right? Pardon? That pipe doesn't lift out, is that a two-parter? Yeah, uh, a well, it's a piece pipe? of fiberglass pipe in a steel mm. subframe. That's what it looks like. Yeah. We can uh, grab onto it? You can grab onto it, yeah. All right, Dick, fly up there and grab onto it. Thank you. All right. <coughs> I'm gonna Put the uh, manip out a little while you're getting up there. Make it more challenging for you. Probably, I uh, <coughs> don't know where there's. Well, grab a pie. Somewhere right there. Gonna move the monument. The plan is to grab it, and then they're gonna use their other manipulator to try and place it on top. At which point, we'll free the cable bundle and try and back up. Nice, nice take. Okay, porch coming out. So the place to grab it is on the white PVC. Roger. And you can see one yeah. side has a flared section. This is the side that needs to go on first. That's the bottom. That's the bottom, yeah. <coughs> and that PVC looks rather fragile. Pardon? The PVC on the bottom left looks uh, somewhat fragile. It seems mighty fragile. That's something that they're trying. It's not that fragile. I've realized it before. The, uh, the They're talking about the little elbow one. They're on the talking left. about this little guy. What's that? Down there. That little arrangement oh. over oh. here. On the end of the CTD. <laughs> Got enough them to deal with that clogging thing. This is their attempt yeah. to solve the clogging. Right. 
I'll attempt not to break it off. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's attempting something. <laughs> we'll attempt not to knock over the monument. <laughs> <laughs> I think I make that a standard part of the dive plan now. Don't break anything. <laughs> <laughs> or just now attempt to deploy the CTT. Right. Uh, yeah, just put attempt before every for everything. We accomplished all the objectives. <laughs> we <laughs> attempted to do this, then we attempted to do that. Well, except on this dive, we already broke stuff. Yeah. What? What did we break? Oh, uh, we went digging the around. Oh, yeah, the pitcher. <laughs> the the uh, bubble, I bubble think, pitcher. I think the funnel is still usable. I think it's okay. Yeah, bubble hunting? I well, need to call me when the transect was over. I was happily geeking around. Yeah, essentially measuring from the top of the jar, the yeah. volume down, right? Yeah, he's not trying to fill this. the whole jar. Yeah, yeah. I rigged it. No, we didn't use it, Dan. We just uh, were searching around the box for the We were looking connector. in the glove compartment yeah, for something that wasn't in there. Yeah. Martin is online. Classic lost your keys. Does anybody keep gloves in the glove compartment? There might be a tie wrap on it. Yeah, there's several. Six to be exact. No, I just, nah, I might have to get the connector out and put it in the clutch here, but see if I can get it out of here. The connector on the left might be right at the edge of the porch. Yeah. Or the elbow, right? Oh, that's okay. The zip ties, so strong and so weak sometimes. Right, it's like barber bands underwater. Yeah, inversely proportionate to what you want them to be. Yeah. Yes. Well, I can break them on this trying to make sure I got a good grab here. And not get out from underneath the cable there. These should be advertisement for the zip tie companies. Yeah. Look what it can do. Cable. Jaw looks like a slow mo replay. I kind of like it like that. Man, you put some thought into this when you rigged it, I'm seeing. Order of operations looks pretty slick there, Dan, whoever yeah. rigged it. Yeah, I rigged it. Didn't put much thought into it. Just <laughs> got on with it. Well, <laughs> it looks pretty good. <laughs> math right now looks pretty good.
Oh, hi. Oh, we're just about to do the CTD. Everyone's super happy with the um, whale fall. Or you're watching. Huh? Oh, mm. right. Well, you came here just in time for the highlight. I think... Uh, yeah, I'm going to take a several hour nap. This might be one of the uh, smoothest... Oh, don't do us. Yeah, I haven't dropped it I didn't say yet. anything. Smoothest <laughs> paper. <laughs> yeah. Smoothest paper. They've got no demand back there. Uh, <laughs> four. <laughs> Two surface? Six. Yeah. That's it. And did you have an orientation you wanted on this? No, they, um, it will align itself. Okay. Look at this. Mega. So the delicate bits are at the bottom, right? Or the elbows? Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's mostly protected, but I hopefully we'll just fly. Yeah, Rog. Yeah. Hey, Jake. Yeah. Um, go to the, uh, well, I'll do it. So okay. I'm going to loose the jaw. Give a little um, down. Down. Yeah. So I'm gonna lift the jaw and yeah, we'll just thanks, Fabio. Okay. Slide, slide the down. whole. Yeah, slide the whole mess. I'm gonna come up just a little bit here. Do you need another set of hands, Dan? No, I'm good. Okay. No. <laughs> One more arm would be nice, huh? Yeah. We'll just we'll just um, slide down till the yeah. CTD stops and mm -hmm. then I'll let go. Of it. Okay. Ready? Ready. So the jaw's relaxed now. It should slide right down. Oh. Okay, I'm going to let this vertical down nice and easy. Okay, now Stop there. I'm going to uh, play with it here. Okay, I'm going to let go. That's good there. Navigation, could I have the coordinates easy. for this monument, please? Roger. Uh, vertical down and back up a little. Come right down. Turn your head to the right just a little. Nice and easy. Okay. I'll come down a little. Yeah. Try uh, maybe lateral right. And Back yeah. up. We want it to come off. <coughs> Stay as low as you can there. Now look, uh, you can see the platform in your aft cam. Yep. And then we'll move that magnum out of the way. Thank you, Nav. Got them. Roger. Okay. Good. I think yeah. you'll be able to see the IP if you change your heading. Was in your aft cam, so keep backing up there. Maybe uh, lateral right a little. Keep backing up. Don't change your heading. Okay. I want to keep seeing the cable. I'm going to bring your camera up a little. That's an easy. Just pull the cable out. We'll stretch it out just a bit more, see if that wad comes out. Don't worry about the platform right now, I know where it is. Keep an eye on the cable yep. in front of us. <coughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it doesn't look like we're putting too much tension on it okay, yet. Okay, that's good. But that's we should good. keep an eye on that. You can come forward now. Come forward and left. <coughs> and you can just start sliding left now. It's probably a good distance. Right or left. Head to the left, just nice and easy, easy. Not too much, you want to keep an eye on the cable there. Yep. <coughs> okay, back up a little. the port cam up. Yeah, I can use the port cam right now. Uh, the port cam. Platform's right under you to your left, but I want to see the cable. So yeah. back up a little more. Just a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what frickin' wad is. Let's <laughs> yeah, fly yeah. up, fly up to the wad. <laughs> fly up to the wad. Yeah, put the wad on the left side of the net for me. <clears throat> Sometimes it all goes at once. That would be ideal. Just had to look at it closer and it started to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, try and back up again. <clears throat> like right close to the dirt. Yeah, I think that's the best shot at it. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Okay, that should be enough. Okay. I don't want to pull it too hard. Okay, come forward a bit and just walk around and we'll grab on. <coughs> grab on the same place we were before. going to be out too far. Uh, mm. It might be hard for you to get. Well, I can do one. Yeah, it started after. working halfway through or. After we grab on. Yeah, I mean, we, from our perspective, it randomly started working, but I believe Justin and Shane were doing something downstairs and it started working. So. take me a lifetime to yeah. figure out some a bug like that. Play with the uh, minute here a bit. Yep. Let's see what I do last time I did.
What? Hmm. Should go there, eh? Maybe. 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 Seems like I'm kind of far away. But give it a shot. Bubbles. Must have collected those on the way. Unless it's unless we're sitting on it and something's might just spring back from that slinky that's in there. Yeah, I tried to pull a little out there. Go slinky it later. I'm happy for everyone that was this invested in the CTD. Thought of you were very excited about it working. We're doing wrong. I need a road. It'll be a pretty yeah, key thing um, when we get to Endeavor. To be Pardon? able to, it'll be Go pretty key to be able to see the temperature shot, when we Dan. get to Endeavor. What's that? You want a tighter shot? Sure. Coming in, holding, oh, I'm a little too tight, stand by, there you go. Yeah, I think it was a counterclockwise rotation, but maybe not. Uh, counterclockwise? Oh, Seems like you're in the keyway, I don't yeah. know what's going yeah. on. There's a slight angle on bubble. Yeah, it looks like a little tiny. Oh, you might not be in it yet. Pinchel made this look so easy, I have to get him over here. So. <laughs> <laughs> I can choke him. Sure, let's start it connecting. You can just make out the keyway at the bottom. To my right. There yeah. you go. There you go? No. No, no not yet. It, but it went, went partially. Oh. Still times. There yeah, that looks good. I think yeah. they connected, yeah. They look they look good. Maybe a little push on the back with the yeah. All right. Um Ulrike. Can you request that they in. turn on this point? Because that looks pretty good. Well, that should be good. Ed, can we get a zoom on the on those yep. little things? Coming in. Oh, that's per that perfect. Well, that was an impressive CTD deployment. That that was very smooth. Good work. No, we that is a over, very challenging so thing to do, <laughs> getting it on the monument. <laughs> the slinky killed us, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now Bad rigging on my part. So we got to keep that parking position in there, and we have to connect that connector we put in the IP into the parking position that's on the porch right now. Right, okay. And, um, let's give it a little here, make sure it's not gonna fall out the mud. AJ.
Um, uh, can't quite. Yeah, it seems a bit out of reach. Um, lateral, lateral right. Really? Yep. <laughs> you can almost see it in there. I should be able to get it from there. Here. Video watch change. Got it in bubble too. <laughs> Can you see it in bubble? Yeah. Yeah, look at the bubble cam. You can lateral back to the left now if you want. Or just dead stick either way. Parking it there. I, I think we're recovering the CTD. So. And click. The idea for the uh, <laughs> Fletcher is to fly it back over to where the CTD was dropped. Okay. Not dropped, but placed gently down. Placed yes. gently down, Roger. Yeah. Okay, Jake, I'm going to let go and you can. All right. Fly the cable off of the platform there. You ready? Yep. Um, just an update. Systems has confirmed power to the new um, CDD, but yes, we are still you. waiting for data and communication. Hello, ROV. How's it going? Great. Hello. So. No, it's fine. I don't care. Um, we're going to fly this connector clear to the east-northeast. So we're just going to follow it to where we put the CTD. Okay. So we're going to so bundle it all together. Back up a bit so I can just see that crap I just don't there. I want to drag over yeah. that other. Now bring your head to the right. Uh, 
gonna clear. You see what you gotta do, right? Yeah. You can come up too, pick up a little bit, and then pivot around. <clears throat> um, let's see if you're. This will help. Yeah, you can come up. Yeah. You pivot around this way. Yeah. And then come right up. <clears throat> kind of under that. Yeah, you want, you want to come around where you can look at it, though. Put your left side of the vehicle right up next to the bullhorns there. Good evening. Fly Video's out. back on. Uh, to your Update from systems. You know uh, power is on. Right. Comms are working for the CTD. Looks good. Inspector, now AJ, we're not recovering this uh, wounded one. Is that correct? What's that? We are going to recover it, yeah. So we've got some more stuff to do. So. Roger. I think it, I think it makes sense to just leave it in the mud for now. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah, we'll come back for until it until we leave after. the IP. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll just put the connector near the CTD and we'll come back for it later. Right. If we can just take a mark here, just mark it as an old CTD, so we know to come back to it. Yep, can do. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Just here. I'll leave it down so you can see here. I don't know what we're doing next. Run it out. What are we doing next? What All right. Going? So what we're going to be doing is surveying some old cables that uh, have been left on the seafloor for a while. So they might be a bit of a mess. So we're just going to want to follow them and try to figure out what's on top of what. Um. Starting from the yeah, I'm platform. just getting my bearings here. So, extension ID one ten is. I'm gonna take a wrap out of that tether. Yeah, I do. She go. Uh, you can go back and sit on this top of the platform. This is one of them platform. here. <coughs> um, I don't if you're think gonna so. take a wrap out for one nineteen and one ten. Okay. They're here. Is that pen and tilt light still on? So it looks like one's like straight north of the IP and it loops Turn around to the right. Yeah, this is 110. Okay. So where are we relative to the IP right now? We're, we're Platform is straight ahead. Right? And we're southeast of it. So let's yes. head north from the IP. Okay. We're looking for 
This old cable should be about 28 meters at six degrees from the IP. Mm -hmm. North. So this is the 119 here? Goes way to the... No, I think 119 is the blue one that does this big loop. Oh. And it's 550 meters. Yeah, okay. I think one tenth of what we're going around the other way. Yeah, yeah. I'll take out okay. your uh, wrap there. So that you got one turn. Bring that latch around counterclock and look north. Is that taking them out or putting all this the wrong way? So this looks like the cable we're going after. Okay. Do we want to find a start or be? Yeah, I keep following it in this okay. direction. Oh, hang on. Let's go take a look at that connector end. Okay. So let's just try to get it all, let's try to see where all the cable goes. So sort of follow to your left, or maybe just back up, and let's see if it just turns right here. That's the only uh, monument out here, is the one we just put the CTD on? Um, yes. Right. The only sticky, uppy instrument? All right. so yep. Keep Here's an eye the, there. The loop. Here. So we're just making sure that our green cables on top of everything looks good, so we can continue to follow that back to the right. Okay. I think we can get him. I can come down a bit. Yeah. I can come right down. Need some more leash. How far does this uh, cable it's, go? It's a 70 meter cable. We're going to have to move the ship that night. And it just continues yep. in, <laughs> in this direction. We're just surveying it. We don't really know. Zero, three, zero. Maybe another 20 meters, yeah. Yeah. All right. <coughs> Bridge now. Um, can There's we have a, a ship move? 20 meters. 20 out. meters. Sonar target. Zero, three, zero. 
Thank you. Hey, ROV, can I just get a refresher on your names? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm Jake. I'm in the Herc seat. Jake in the Herc seat? Yes. Dan is yeah. next to me on my left. We've got Dan on the arm, and? And then Danny on my right. Oh, Danny, that's yeah. not confusing at all. Yes. <laughs> all right. Hey, guys, I'm AJ. Hello. Morning, AJ. Pete's on video. Oh, hey, Pete. How's it going? Going well. You can blame Trevor for having to memorize six names, eight names instead of four. All right. <laughs> but we have continuity. That's right. <laughs> it's great. You guys know where everything's put, right? I'm counting on it. Nope, I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you guys are here for. All we are is t bus drivers. We get to know the neighborhood, though. Yeah. You know, like any good taxi driver. Dan is the one to blame if it gets too cold in here, though. Huh? Put all the knobs in here. <sighs> so what do you think for trying to find this other one? Like... So I had a sonar. Go. I think we go west. I had a sonar target, but I drifted back a little bit. Oh, so we're did. here. You can. Oh yeah, because that. Yeah, that, that, right that. Thing to do oh, so these just are going north. These are these. But we're following this right now. We're past this, so we're up this way. Yeah. So I think it, we can kind of maybe go like three, two, five, and we'll run into it. I'm worried if we come like this, we might come under it. There it is. Come under what? Oh, we're just talking, talking about? about trying to find the next cable. Is there a suspended cable out here? No, no, no. no. Okay. They're freaking, all on the bottom. you right out, man. <laughs> By under, I meant south of. Roger. I see those final for us all the time, and they freak me out. You're just going to pull <laughs> us right around. Yep. Roger. You can drag Argus 20 meters easy <laughs> at this depth. Just freaking drag it like a red-headed stepchild. <laughs> yeah, I thought for sure you'd just do this. Yeah, just stir it. The coffee. Just say, here's a fresh one. The only danger there, I'll just leave out a head on so it will come back around the same way. Because yeah. sometimes it, it tries to do a, a goal of like 485 or some crazy thing like that. Um, oh, this is snailfish. Maybe as far as I can go. I can come down. It's Argus altitude. This I got miles So this is going to be a problem because we're underneath that cable. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, but I yeah, 25 meters. I'll come down. Though. Does it even make sense that we're still on the 110? I think it does. Why, you think we've gone too far? Well, yeah. How low can you get? It's just, not drawn, it's just not drawn right. It clearly it runs like like that. We're playing that game. We followed it up here. It's 70 meters. Oh, look. There's another cable in your sonar. You can see it in the mesotech, too. Mm. So do I don't you, know Do you want me to keep moving after this move? Yeah. Yeah. Has not we should be getting close to the end, but maybe yeah. not too big a move. Well, or he's already drug Argus for. Yeah. He's just dragging it where it needs to be. How far are we from the IP? Oh. Come here, mouse. There we go. 60 meters? From where we came from? Yeah. From all the green squigglies there. If you count the little squares on the nav screen, they're 10 squares each. About 50 meters. Okay. Well, we did have that loop at the beginning, too. Yeah, but it was supposed to be 28 meters away from the IP. I'm not sure it actually was. It seemed way less. Seem way less. So, yeah. Maybe another 10 meters. It's, um, 
Extension ID 119, is that a foul mount or a? Bridge now. This is a foul mount, yeah. Oh, 119, sorry, this is 110. Yeah. Can we have yeah, another 20 meter move, 030? I'll, I have I'll no idea. At. I'll see if I can see in the tug of war. It's definitely not going to be an oily at 550. So it could be, it's either going to be a, a Rochester, like a yellow, or a foul mat, likely a foul mat. Yeah. So, probably foul mat. So this cable we're following here is the one that plugs the instrument platform in. Or there's an instrument at the end of it somewhere. There should not be an instrument at the end of it. It's an abandoned cable or a Yeah. Yeah. We're just doing a survey for future possible recovery. Roger. So like when we went by and we saw it was underneath that uh oily cable, that's a difficulty for future future AJ future all of us <laughs> let's cut it we're in this together do we have the hydraulic cutter yeah uh, yeah it's in the shop <laughs> it's in the shop oh well when you go to recover it just nip it fun cutting the cable into short pieces and putting in a like 20 meter long trash basket we did see this can though didn't we at the very beginning yeah we did yeah, yeah. it's just like a termination can yeah Just a touch, Pete, just to get rid of that uh, bitch. Yeah, that's good. He did that good. Drives me crazy. The vignette. It's going to be at least 60 mm -hmm. meters, Megan. 60 more meters? No, I said we got to be at least 60 meters out from the IP. Oh, yeah. What are we supposed to, how, how far do you guys want to go? Yeah, we're going to follow it to the end. To the it's end? It's a 70 meter cable. Oh, I see, I see. So we shouldn't have too much left to go. If our information is right. If our information is right, which always the question when you're dealing with old abandoned cables mm -hmm. which is why we do a survey see if you can drag it Jake I, I'm full you're pinned yeah. that's all the power you got Burning 25% on your Z bias. That's true. Oh, well, you've moved it probably. Yeah, you've drug it 20 meters. Is the ship moving? 
supposed to be moving, but it doesn't look like it's moving. No, it's not. And it moved in the opposite direction. Yeah, I or probably. 90 degrees. Yeah. Nice with Go ahead, Bridge. Okay, so we, moving in this direction isn't working. Uh, so we've already seen that it's underneath okay. this one. Have we moved from... You think we're still on the 110? Zero 045 off of his heading, Megan? 20 meters? Okay. Um, can you do zero four five off your heading? That's what he just said. Okay. I don't have a mouse, but that's basically north. I'm having a really hard time hearing him. Yeah. So what he's what he's saying is he can, if the ship's pointed this way, uh -huh. he can do forty five off of that. So he can go north. He can go uh, west. Have him go north 20 meters. Okay. You got to sawtooth it. <laughs> you get it? Okay. Yeah, tell him north 20 meters. Good attack back and forth. Bridge now. Yeah, could we go uh, due north for 20 meters? Would that work? Okay. Okay. Oreo, you copy? Nice. Yeah, we're so we're trying to get to the northeast, so whatever you can do to get us there. We only gotta go another like twenty meters with the ROB, so whatever you can zigzag, sawtooth, whatever. Make it happen. All right. Sometimes it helps to tell for for him to understand where we're going and let oh. him work it out. Okay. Yeah. I do that with George all the time. Okay, yeah. <laughs> when he's struggling up there, so we tell him what we're trying to do, and he they come up with a way to A way to get us there. Happen. Yeah. Because we actually have a direction we need to head, instead of like, eh, you know, whatever. Yeah, so what happened there is yeah. the DP um, alarms and just gives up, says I can't do it, and then they have to reset DP. So we asked for something that the DP couldn't do, and he tried to do it, and it, you know, Yoga. just like Jake just now tried to fly out and couldn't do it, right? We tried, we couldn't do it. And, but um, where that becomes more of an issue is when the wind's up or the current's up while they're resetting the DP, the ship can, you know, take a bit of a runner. It's not a big deal around here, but if we're, it's a little bit of a big, bigger deal on a sea mound or Endeavor or whatever. Which is curious because uh, we did the whole transit the other way at half a knot sideways, and I was surprised that we could do that. So it must be going with the wind or the current or something. Uh, But 
I can't hear you now. I think he's resetting the DP because I don't have any information on my screen. Yeah. <clears throat> no, he's changing his oh. heading. Yeah, he's, well, he's changing the heading, but then everything went blank for a moment. No, oh, yeah. But it looks like, yeah, the wind and the current are kind of opposite of each other. What is the wind doing? I don't have weather. I have weather watch up here. Yeah. Yeah, there's some mistiness going on outside. Twenty knot, less than twenty knots. You should be yeah, on. it's pretty light wind. Not too crazy. This would be a good opportunity to. When's the last time we wrote anything in the log? Beginning of the dive. Oh, the. Uh, <laughs> 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 what have you guys been doing while I'm away? Absolutely nothing. As little <laughs> as possible. Uh, and there's three of us. That's a three, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's a five. Huh? That's a five. It's five, ten, ten. The first the digit. Rams, rams oh, the, five. the first digit's five? Yeah, they go. it's increments of five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So basically, gauges are good and they can copy paste. Six, uh, five, main four. Yeah. Comp is good. Did you know if you control shift colon? Puts the time in and you control C, so control. The 